Hi guys, and welcome to the third episode of how to make a Roblox rig series. Hi guys, and welcome to the third episode of how to make a Roblox rig series. In today's episode, I will be showing you how to add constraints to your bones so that we can limit rotation and also, you know, know what to do. So let's get started. So you want to make sure you're in pose mode right here. So just select your lower left arm and go right here to the bone constraint properties. And right here in the drop down for add bone constraint, add a limit rotation. And you can change the owner right here from world space to local space. So local space just means it uses all of its measurements from the entire armature itself rather than the entire world around it. So, so what local space does is it uses the measurements from the actual armature itself instead of using world measurements. So it's it's not very easy to explain, but you will get the hang of it. And so what you want to do in this constraint is you want to just make sure you just want to try each one out. And what we're going to do and what you want to do is just change the maximum to 90 on the X. So now if we rotate this, you can see it goes backwards. So that is wrong. So what we're going to do is change the maximum to zero and change the minimum to minus 90. So as you can see, now it works. Sometimes you might need to do this in a Y axis, sometimes you might need to do it in a Z axis. So as you can see, now it rotates the way I want it to. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and add that to everything else. So hold down on shift and select the right arm, the lower right arm, and select the lower left arm again, and go to this drop down right here in the constraint and click on copy to selected. Same thing we did with the modifiers actually. And it should work. This might not work depending on how their arms were symmetrized, but it does for me. So if it does go backwards at all, you can just change it right here. Just play around. And right here, we're going to add another limit rotation constraint, change the owner to local space. And right here, we're just going to try this again. So let's make the, mi the minimum minus 90 and maximum. Well, the maximum is already zero, so we'll leave it at that. As you can see, it's literally going in the wrong, it's going in the wrong axis. So I think it's on Z, it's on Z. So let's go to the Z axis, change the minimum to minus 90 and see what happens. Okay, so we're on the right track. However, it's going forward, which is not what we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to the maximum for 90 and that should work, yeah. And again, hold down on shift on the right lower leg and go back to the left lower leg, drop down, copy to selected. And everything should work. This didn't work actually. So that's a good uh, demonstration of the issue as explained just earlier. So we're gonna have to change the maximum to zero and change the minimum to minus 90. Now everything should work. This is good. And you can play around with these constraints. You can add more if you want. It's all it's all your choice. And uh, yeah, that's the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you out and I will see you in the next one. Bye.